Hello, my beautiful Libra, Sun, Moon, Venus, or Rising. Welcome to your Zodiac reading. This is the Dream Clairvoyant. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. Ooh, Libra, what's going on here? Okay, King of Cups, Six of Cups. Okay, Two of Swords. Tell us more about this message for Libra. Ace of Wands, Page of Pentacles. Nine of Wands, Wheel of Fortune. So, hmm. I just heard something you've been looking forward to. Okay. I feel like someone here is about to do the unexpected, okay? It's almost like, Libra, you've been waiting for this person to say something, do something, initiate something, and they will. Um, they want to recon reconnect with you with the Six of Cups. They want to see you again, is what I'm trying to say. They see you as a king of cups, okay? I feel like this person would like to get to know you or get to know you more. You know, the king of cups is always so lovely to have around because these are people who are so compassionate and understanding. You can confide in, in the king of cups about pretty much anything, okay? Um, and they do strive to uh, do right by others. So king of cups, very trustworthy, very diplomatic, um, you know, they're also extremely empathetic towards others. Um, but with the Six of Cups that's here, I feel like there's already familiarity between the two of you, okay? There's some sort of familiarity here because I feel like this person is looking forward to seeing you again. Um, the Two of Swords, Ace of Wands, and a Page of Pentacles. So the Two of Swords, you don't really know how to go about this, Libra. Okay, it's almost like you're wanting them to move towards you. Okay, maybe it's a situation where your hands are tied and they're the one who's going to have to make this initiation. And indeed, they will. With the Ace of Wands here, this passionate new beginning, um, you even have the, the Page of Pentacles. I feel like you've been looking forward to this, you've been looking forward to this person. Like, communicating with you, introducing themselves to you, or reaching out to you. Um, I don't know if this is someone who you have, you know, strong history with, or if there's just this familiarity here. But what I'm saying is this could even be a friend, a lover, relative, you know, um, but they're going to reach out. Okay. They're going to take that step forward with the page of pentacles, uh, the page of pentacles pages are all about communication and news. Okay, so I feel like this person is going to talk to you maybe about practical things, you know, your everyday things. Um, but I feel like you're really going to enjoy uh, this person's conversation with you. I actually want us to look at the Page of Pentacles some more. Sometimes the Page of Pentacles, it could talk about finances, like a financial offer. Uh, Ten of Pentacles is here as well. Hmm. Then you have the lovers. Okay. If this is someone who is like romantically related uh, or connected to you, I feel like this individual is absolutely going to initiate something with you um, in hopes to get this 10 of pentacles, this long-term security and stability with you. So this real traditional commitment here is what they would be looking forward to. Okay, if this is not romance related, then I definitely see the two of you more so talking about more, you know, material things, maybe like how's work, you know, how's your job, you know, or have you watched the news and looked at looked at stocks today or something? <laughs> you guys know what I mean. Okay, um, the topic is going to be ideal. Okay, and practical if it's not love related. If it is love, then it is them making this initiative to talk to you, maybe even to give a commitment, an offer of a commitment, some sort of love proposal. Um, 
but if it's not, it could definitely be about work, career, and finances because the Ten of Pentacles, it could also represent lump sums of money, business, empires, and generational wealth. The Lover's card is here, okay? The two of you, regardless of what this connection is, this bond is, whether it's romantic or platonic or casual, I mean, the Lover's is saying that there is a strong soulmate connection that the both of you feel with each other, okay? Um, this could easily be a past life soulmate. Now, let's look at the Nine of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune. Nine of Wands, Wheel of Fortune, Three of Wands. So the Nine of Wands is a wounded warrior pose, someone who's really been through a lot, but they're still standing strong and, um, you know, standing their ground, facing those adversity with a brave face. Um, let me see. Tell us more about this Nine of Wands. Clarify the Nine of Wands. The Six of Swords. So, hmm. Nine of Wands could represent, this is someone, this is someone who's like, a mutual party like this person's mutually connected to you and someone who you know and i'm even looking now at the three of cups which makes perfect sense they know someone who you know there's something mutual here okay there's a mutual party that connects the both of you with the three of cups is all about socializing social groups um They could be connected to someone who you know, maybe someone who's sick or they were sick, like a sick relative or a longtime friend. Yeah, they definitely know someone who you know. Whoever the mutual party is, I feel like um, they definitely faced major adversity here in their life but they, they are a warrior, okay? Um, they are a warrior. The, the, the Six of Swords, moving things forward, moving things from rough waters to calmer waters, whatever this adversity is that this mutual person faced, I feel like they were able to overcome it in some way, shape, or form. They fought through it. And now there's, and now there's forward movement. Let's look at the Wheel of Fortune. Eight of Pentacles. Hmm. Eight of Pentacles. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune. You know, the Wheel of Fortune, it talks about something being faded and destined to happen. It could even talk about um, the tables turning in your favor, okay? There's a lot of luck here for you. When we clarified it, the Eight of Pentacles came out. And the Eight of Pentacles, it's hard work that brings success, okay? It could talk about a, a career opportunity, finances, but it's simply you becoming successful, okay? And seeing the rewards of your hard work. The emperor. The emperor is someone who is very much responsible. This is someone who takes charge. Uh, they have a lot of control in their life as well. They're very wise. I feel like um, you're finally you're finally about to step into this period of your life where uh, you're going to have enough. You're going to have enough resources to be an emperor, to have control um, in your life. Okay to handle your responsibilities. The emperor is also someone who um, has a lot of power and, and authority. So you are going to be a leader as well. Um, the emperor is like that. It's an alpha, it's an alpha energy, male, whether you're a woman or a man. 
Um, but you're gonna, you're definitely gonna be playing more of an assertive, dominant, alpha sort of um, role. Okay. Um, the Three of Wands is here. Three of Wands, waiting, waiting, waiting patiently is what I'm hearing. I feel like you've really been looking forward to this day here, where you finally have the resources, you know, to take control of your life. Yeah, you have. You've had to wait, I feel, with the hermit here. You had to wait patiently. But you knew that your time was coming, and indeed it is. The two of wands, okay, carrying out a plan, trying to get a sense of direction. You're about to be put in a position where you can plan your, your steps much better, you know, with the resources here that I feel you're going to get. Um, it's it, what I'm trying to say. It's like you're going to be put on a much better platform where you can get a better sense of direction, okay, and get more control uh, over your life. Because I feel like in the previous season, you were definitely experiencing some form of hardship and difficulty with the Five of Pentacles here. Okay. Um, any other messages for my beautiful Libra? Four of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. I see lots of security in your life. Okay. The Four of Pentacles. Um, this is the Four of Pentacles. It's, it's financial security. Okay. It's financial security. Even here at the Three of Pentacles, it's working together and collaborating. So I don't feel like it's just with money. I feel like it's also with the people, like the people, places, and things in your life are going to be there long term, okay? So it seems like you're attracting more solid bonds and connections with people who you can really have a long-lasting uh, relationship with, romantic or platonic. I'm talking people who you can truly work with. They will cooperate with you, you know? Um, they will stand by your side. They will they will help you to make life easier, not harder. Okay, I'm talking about you having reliable people to count on. Okay, uh, because I feel like in the past you were really dealing with people who were nothing but just a liability. You were there for them, but they couldn't really be there for you, or you had high expectations of them right, that were not met. So it's just time. It's time for you to attract people who are more so on your level, you know, people who have their life together, people who are also committed and loyal, devoted, um, people who also desire that long-term security and stability like you. Um, but yeah, this is what I'm seeing for you, Libra. This is a positive reading, and I hope you enjoyed this message. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to support the channel. Take care, everyone, and many blessings to you.